Hey guys, today's video is going to be a super duper important topic and this video was requested by Truffle85 so thank you so much for the video request. So today's video is going to be how to evacuate your guinea pigs if there's a fire, tornado, flood, or any other natural disaster. I can't explain how important this is especially if your guinea pigs mean the world to you but it definitely all depends on your parents and how strict they are about you and how more important you are than your pets. But this video is just how to prepare and how to evacuate your home safely. So let's get started. Number one, preparing. Preparing your guinea pigs for a natural disaster is hard to think about, but these things happen and you need to be prepared if you want to save your guinea pigs lives. Somewhere where your guinea pigs are, you should have a container or kit with you. This should include hay, bedding, or fleece depending on what you use, pellets, and some medical supplies such as nail clippers, q-tips if you have nails, and syringes. You also should keep a carrier with you and somewhere that it is easy to take out. And this also depends on how many guinea pigs you have and how many you can save and how many are actually bonded together. This is super sad to say if you have that many guinea pigs and some of them are not bonded, it can definitely be hard to choose which ones that you want to save and which ones are going to stay behind. Number two, evacuation and planning. Having an evacuation plan is as important as getting your guinea pigs out and yourself out of the house safely. Having some sort of plan and practice it can save you a lot of time, especially if you know what you're doing. Either if you're on the main floor or the second floor or basement, it's super important they have multiple ways to get your guinea pigs out because you just don't know. Things sometimes just happen too fast and you just need to be prepared. Number three, safety. The safety for both you and your guinea pigs count. I have a video on how to hold your guinea pigs, which also shows you how to pick them up and transport them. You might be in a rush and completely petrified, but you need to make sure you still have to care for them and pick up your guinea pigs the right way and be safe with them and carefully bring them out the window or in the basement, depending on the disaster and where you are located in your house. And this brings us to our next section of the video. Number one, fire. In case of a fire, you want to be prepared for your guinea pigs like I've explained, and you want to carefully bring everything out with you out the door or out the window, depending where you are. Now, your parents or whoever is with you says only care about yourself and not your pets. But I know for most of you, you are definitely care and love for your guinea pigs. And no other piggy can replace who they are slash were. So I definitely recommend trusting your parents and what they tell you. Either you care more about yourself or your piggies. I don't care. You need to trust and listen to your parents first. So use a ladder if you're on the second floor or carefully go out the window with your piggies. I'm unsure of how many of you guys know about this, but there was a guinea pig rescue up in Hampton, New Hampshire, and they actually had a fire. Many guinea pigs died, but actually many of them survived. Since smoke rises, the guinea pigs on the ground were not inhaling as much smoke as the guinea pigs on a stand or on a table, so they did end up surviving. Number three, tornado. Either you are evacuating your home or you go into your basement. Again, it's super important to care for your guinea pigs the right way and bring the emergency kit or box with you. If you have a spare cage, you can always bring that with you as well if it's easy to travel with, especially those Papa play pens. They are super easy to transport and are pretty big. Number three, flood. There are pros and cons to guinea pigs on stands and guinea pigs who are on the ground. 
the guinea pigs on the ground could easily drown than the guinea pigs on a stand. Yet, when there is a fire, the guinea pigs on the ground have a more chance of surviving. Again, make sure your parents either want you to get out with or without your guinea pigs because all parents are different. This is going to be it for today's video, and I really hope this helps all of you prepare for a natural disaster that can sometimes appear suddenly. Thank you again to Truffle for an extremely important topic. So if I left anything out, please guys let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely answer them also if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in my next video.